Hello, hello. Good afternoon. We are live on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel. So let me, let me know where you are seeing this uh, in the comments. Um, we are going to have some fun today. Of course, you know, every day is a national something day um, in America. And today is National Christmas Card Day. So we are actually going to make a Christmas card using some of the fun supplies that we have here in the studio. Um, so tell me before we get started, do you send out Christmas cards or do you make Christmas cards or are you just one of those that you're like, nah, I'm good. Um, I will be honest here for the past several years. Um, I have been one of those that's just like, nah, I don't have enough time with us being makers in our house. We're usually like trying to finish up Christmas orders that we've had uh, just from, you know, the last month or so. And so we don't typically send out Christmas cards, but let me know in the comments if you do. Um, if you have kids that are wanting to make Christmas cards, this is an excellent way for them to be able to do that. And um, this would be great for all ages. So we are going to get started here in just a second. Um, let me go over what I have today and what we're going to be using if you go to uh, Michael's or Hobby Lobby or any, anywhere like that, they always have um, in the card section, uh, like these blank cards. They may even have them at Walmart. I don't know. Uh, I don't know that I've looked for them there. But I usually pick up like a big bulk pack once or twice a year just because we use these a good bit in the studio for different things, um, different types of printmaking and all kinds of things. You will use these if you are into art and into crafting. I promise you, you will use these. Um, they always come with envelopes too, so that's a big help because then you can just stuff it and send it and you're ready to go. Um, these are just white ones. I don't, I, oh, I did get these at Walmart. How about that? It's got like the old Walmart sticker on it. So I've had these for a while. Um, and I may have bought these off of somebody. I don't even know. <laughs> where these came from um you can get them in all different sizes all different colors and just have some fun with these i've got some that are like craft paper and these are a little bit smaller i think than the ones we're going to be using today but any kind of note card i love the ones that are like pre pre-scored and so you don't have to do anything to um you know to make it i was trying to get it right it felt like i was falling out of the screen net all the time um i was just like the ease of they're already done. You could make them out of cardstock, but then you've got to cut it and score it and all that. I just like the ease of it. So um, we are using those. And then we have these fun oil pastels. These are twistables or twisty sticks. And it comes with a pack of 12 oil pastels. They work a lot like crayons, but they are even better at blending than crayons are. If you've used any of our Uli stuff here at the studio, let me know in the comments. It is amazing. Um, great for all ages. I love to use it. Our kids love to use it. We use it a lot here in the studio. Um, and it's just like they have really good vibrant colors and they're just a lot of fun. A whole lot of fun. So we are going to be using these today. And we're going to make a Christmas tree card. So the way that these work, they just twist up like a crayon, really. And then you just color with them. And you can blend them just like an oil pastel. And I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. So I'm going to set this off to the side a little bit. And get my card out so that we can use it. And you do want to make sure if you're doing a portrait um picture that you have it where it opens correctly so do check that um and if you're wanting to do something like you could do lettering with this you could do really whatever with it um we may even do a second one if it if we get done with this one pretty quickly um but you do want to make sure that your card opens the right way yes beth i love the twisty sticks they are so much fun um all right so we're gonna get started and the way that I'm going to draw, I was trying to take a lid off of this. It doesn't have a lid on it. You just twist it up. Super easy. All right. The way that I'm going to draw um, this first Christmas tree would be really good for like older kids um, who have a little bit more control over where their lines are going and that sort of thing um, for adults as well. But it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's one of the awesome things about 
doing things like this is it's a hand-drawn picture. It doesn't have to be perfect though, okay? So we're gonna start, we're not gonna start at the very top of our paper, but we are gonna start down just a little bit and I'm just gonna do a dot on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, let me see if I can get it to the camera where you can see it a little better. So I've just got a dot right there. And that's gonna kinda give me a visual for a starting point, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of just curve out some lines here and really loosely. So just kind of a V shape um, that looks like almost like a bird, you know? And all I'm gonna do is just come down and do that same shape over and over again, all right? Sometimes I'm pressing down harder, sometimes I'm not, um, it just depends. We're gonna do that same thing again. We're gonna go out a little bit farther this time with that shape, but we're gonna do our Christmas tree um, limbs just the same. And I'm just going back and forth in between those two lines. So now you can see how we're already getting the shape of this tree. This is gonna be a pretty wide tree, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm gonna do that same thing again. I can draw my two lines. I can come down and out if I want to and I'm just drawing these lines in here. Because these blend in so well together, I'm not really having to worry about, a lot of times, depending on what you're doing, especially if you're painting, you really have to start at the bottom of your tree first, but because of the way that these work together, I don't have to worry about it um, looking weird when I go down the tree instead of up the tree. And the reason that is, um, is because we want it to look like these limbs on the bottom are tucked up underneath the ones that are on top. And that's all that it is with that. All right, so I'm gonna continue doing this with the light green. And then we're gonna come back in just a second with some dark green. And we are going to um, add some details in here. And I'm just gonna leave that as it is. All right, if you want to go back in and add more of that light green, feel free to do that, but you don't have to. And I'm going to pick up this dark green now, and we're going to add some details in. And I love how these just kind of blend in with this light green, and I don't have to go as much um, with the dark green as I did the light green, because now I'm just kind of filling in those gaps. And you can see where I have the lighter green it blends a whole lot more than where just the dark green is on the paper. So it gives it a completely different look. And so I'm just gonna fill in those gaps. And because I'm able to stop it uh, before it gets to the next level above it, it does have that look like they're all tucked up under each other. So that is one of the, the pleasures of being able to use um, sticks like this instead of, um, you know, paint because I don't have to go backwards. It's easier for me to do this. All right. So now I've got to draw my stem or my trunk for my tree. So I'm just going to draw two lines right there at the bottom. And I'm going to color that in, but not all the way. I'm just kind of leaving it as it is. Um, Let's see, and then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm, I like the red uh, tree skirt, so we're gonna go ahead and do that as well. Get my red out here. And all I'm gonna do is, I'm doing a curved line. It looks like a C. If you turn your card the other way, it's gonna look like a C, all right? It, because I don't want you to be able to, I don't want it to go into the tree but um, I also want it to look like it goes behind the tree. So we're gonna stop it there. And then I'm just gonna kind of fill in all of this over here. All the way around just like that. All right. So I can color that in more if I want to. Um, if I wanted to kind of create a look like there's shadows, we could go a little darker. We could also add in some other um, colors to blend in. Let's see, let's do some purple on here. Or 
Yeah, we'll do the purple. We'll see how that works. All right. So we're going to blend in some of that purple. Create shadows in there. And then I'm going to use some of that darker blue, like the royal blue. And we'll add another layer of depth on there as well. So now you can see how it's created that shadow. And we have our tree. Okay, our tree skirt. So now I have to add a star at the top. All right, so now we're going to go up here. And I'm just doing a really loose star. It does not have to be perfect by any means. Stars are hard to draw sometimes. So all I'm going to do is just color that in right there. If you wanted to do some lines going off, like to show that it's shining bright, then you could do that as well. All right. Sorry, I keep shaking my table when I'm coloring. All right. So now we're ready for the ornaments and we're ready to add some decoration to this. You can use any of these colors. I'm just going to pick a few and we're going to put some um, ornaments on here. So you want to kind of balance this out and have these, you know, all over the place really without it being too many so that when you get ready to add more, you can, you know, you can see them. You don't want to add too many of these. Let's see, let's, I did some blue ones on here and I think I did pink as well. All right, so the blue is gonna go in now. All and you really could add any of these colors, it does not matter. All right, so there's my blue ones. And I'm going to go, I think I am going to go in with the pink. It's like a light pink, so it kind of blends in with the green. But it's really pretty on here. Very subtle. You just want to kind of find places to tuck it in. All right. So I think I'm good on those. So there is my first tree. If I wanted to color in my background, I could do that as well, or I could leave it. Um, the other thing that you can do is use a Posca pen on this. Um, it does pretty well on here. When I was testing it out yesterday, I was really pleasantly surprised at how well it worked. Um, but you can come back in and kind of add these little details that we've added on here if you feel comfortable doing that. So I don't carry Posca pens in here, but we have a local uh, art store here in Montevallo that carries a wide variety of these. Um, so if you are coming by and wanna get some of these um, twisty sticks, then, oh, that one is drying out on me, um, then you can do that. And you can uh, stop around the corner at Falcon Art Supply and they have a wide variety of those. All right, I don't know if I've got another good one that's going to work or not. We will have to see. That one was on its way out. All right, there we go. Okay, so I don't want to, like, completely outline this. I just want to come in and add some of these details um, that are just going to kind of bring it together. So I'm just doing some squiggly lines on the tree. Try not to, like, layer them right on top of each other because you want them to kind of balance each other out. All right. And then I'm going to come around this way and outline that. Do a few lines on the um, trunk of the tree. And then I can outline my star as well. All right. So that one is done. Um, so let me show you another idea for younger kids that would be super easy for them to do. Um, and it's it would help with younger kids learning their shapes and that sort of thing. 
So let me grab, I've got another note card here, making sure it's open in the right way that we're good to go on that. And again, I'm gonna grab this light green and I'm gonna draw triangles, but they're gonna have like a, a little bit of funky lines to them. So we're gonna go out just like this, but I'm gonna do a circled or a curved line at the bottom instead of a straight line, all right? And then we're gonna come in just a little bit and we're gonna do a, a long line on one side, a short line on the other, and we're gonna do that again. So curved line on the bottom. Then we're gonna do that again, but we're gonna go long line over here short line over here. I can take that a little bit farther and we're going to go connect those two with a curved line. So that right there is a cute Christmas tree. We're going to color it in, um, but it's super easy for little ones to do. So all I'm going to do on this one is come in and color in all of that triangle. You could even do like light, dark, light. It's up to you how, you know, let them kind of take the lead on what they want to do. When you run out of oil pastel, you just twist out more. It's so nice because these do not make a mess like um, some of the ones that you use, you know, that are like regular, just wrapped oil pastels. So these are really nice for little kids as oil. All right, so. Gonna get that colored in. Trying to go all in the same direction, but it really doesn't matter a whole lot. Um, so I've got that colored in. I'm gonna come back with the dark green. And for like elementary school kids, you could teach them about shadow and um, have them create some shadows under here and kind of blend those in a little bit. For younger kids, I would just say, you know, a solid color is what you would expect from that. Or even they're going to do like multiple colors um, in here. And that is perfectly fine too because there are some fun colors on some Christmas trees. All right. So you can see how it's creating shadows in here. You could even go down the side and create shadows there if you wanted to. All right, so just like that, and you have a fun, funky Christmas tree that was super easy to draw. Um, let's get us, let's get us a trunk on here, and we're just gonna do two lines there. We're gonna do our coloring in. Just like that. And then instead of the Posca pen this time, I'm gonna use the oil pastel to outline this and we're gonna see what happens. All right, see how it does. All right, so I am coming out just like this. Very similar to what I did on the other one. Um, and it's just as cute, I love this. So you could go either way with this. Um, this would be super cute to like have them write Merry Christmas on or happy holidays, anything like that um, would work. You could do ornaments on this just like we did on the other one. They could just draw circles or you could paint, like let them do fingerprint ornaments on here. That would be super cute. Um, but I'm just gonna do some red circles on here. And we're gonna see what we get at the end. All right, so two really fun ideas for National Christmas Card Day. Um, if your kids are in school and they're wanting to make Christmas cards for their teachers, this would be a great way to do that. Um, this would be a quick and easy way for them to do this and it would keep them occupied. Um, so if you are like, I gotta have some of those twisty sticks and you, you need them like now, um, I am about to go pick up kids here in a little bit, but I am open on Monday. I will be open Monday the 13th from nine until three. And then on Friday the 17th, we will be open from 10 until seven. We're having an art show on the, the 17th from five until seven. So you can come and see 
what our homeschool classes have been working on and see what they've been doing this semester. And then on Sunday the 19th, we will be open from two to six. We are open for shopping and for um, open studio during most of those times. Um, so if you come in and buy a kit or something like that and you want to go ahead, like you need some guidance and you want somebody here to help you, um, feel free to come in and buy your kit and we'll help you with painting it and that sort of thing if you want that. Or you can, we'll pack it up and you can take it home with you. All right. So you guys have a great rest of your day. And um, if you catch this in the replay, let me know. And if you have a mama that is um, looking for some fun crafts for her kids to do during the Christmas break, um, share this with her and let her know about it so that she can um, come on and watch it. All right. So y'all have a great day and I will see you next time.